a lot of studies might say, uh, look, at, focus on the patient to maybe try and change the behavior of the patient. Or they might mm -hmm. work with the staff and try and get them to do something different. But is it, 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 it fair to say your approach is slightly different in that you're trying to change the system? Yeah, um, we health health services have been trying to change behaviour from the get go. I think, unfortunately, a lot of implementation science really uh, concentrates on behaviour change and trying to get people to, you know, putting an intervention in place and then trying to change behaviour either through training or some other method so that people can then um, adapt to that intervention and use the new system. Yeah, human factors is not like that. So, so human factors in healthcare. Um, it has a bit of a bad rap in a way. A lot of people think that human factors is about the soft skills or the non-technical skills. Um, so things like communication, teamwork and things like that. And they think that if you want to improve those skills, the way you do it is you train people and you change their behaviour. So they communicate better and they work better in teams. Um, in reality, the field of human factors is not about that. It's about system design. So if you design a system so that it's easy to use and so that it's designed for the purpose that it's meant to, the purpose that you want to use it for, people won't have to change behaviour. They'll just be able to use it. So so the way we approach things is it's really sort of 80% system design and then and then you might need to do a little bit of behaviour change at the end just to adapt. But, but really, if you design a good system, you're not going to have to do lots and lots of training and behaviour change to get people to use it.